So, we're here with Wonderheart, Team Wild's official Hungarian hunting destination. And once again, we're off to pigs. Big pigs. No hunt is ever the same, which is why it's such an obsession for millions of us across the globe. Unfortunately, I'm very much a self-confessed addict, and I need to have another Hungarian boar fix. Zoltan is once again guiding me this morning, and from the outset we have no problem in finding animals. But we do have a problem finding the right one for me to get my crosshairs on. So there's a couple of young sows down at the bottom of the hill. Now they're just feeding. We're looking for an older male. And we don't think there's going to be one there. We've just seen a couple of younger sows with piglets. So this one looks like a yearling sow. Quite small in the body with quite a short nose. But they don't seem too concerned by it. Famous last words. Boars seem to be either hypersensitive or not give a toss. There doesn't seem to be any middle ground. So while they're being the former, I'll take you through the kit I'm hunting with today. So it's quite dark in here and we're hunting for wild boar. So I've been pretty specific about the equipment I've brought with me today. For my rifle, I've chosen a Ruger M77 Hawkeye. This is the all weather variant. At 958 quid, you get an awful lot of rifle for your money. 22 inch stainless steel barrel, fully synthetic stock, the classic Mauser action with non-rotating ejector. In addition to that, I can group three shots at 100 yards on my thumbnail. But more importantly today is this. This is the new Zeiss 3 to 12 by 56 Victory HT scope. Now this is a brand new scope that Zeiss have introduced to EWA this year. 3 to 12 magnification, 56 mm objective lens, and probably the most incredible light transmission of any scope on the market. They claim 95%. So in this dark canopy, that's pretty important. But most importantly above that is making sure that what hits the bore has got the right stuff. And as usual, I bought my Lapua Mega 185 grain in 38.6 Springfield. Now those bad boys, when they hit the target, they poleaxe pigs. All we need to do now is find our Kyler. I always expected we'd see something shootable today. And here we have a good sized group at about 80 yards in front of us. I know their eyesight isn't good, but I'm sure they suspect something. The big male closest to us gives a good stare in our direction before going back to rooting around in the rich soil. Zoltan confirms he wants me to go for the Tusker at the front. Knowing my 185 grain Lapua Megas pack a serious punch, I want to make sure my backstop is soil, not another one of the boar. Just one pig today, not two. Eventually I'm happy with taking the shot. The big guy's on his own. I hit him really hard, and if we look again, he's literally blown off his feet. Well, another fantastic pig. Off from an A, it's about 65 yards, really, really pleased. These Lapua Magas absolutely rock. Now I'd be interested to see if this one um, exited. The last time I shot a pig with one it didn't, which means it imparted all of its energy right in the body, body of the beast. It did its job absolutely perfectly. So there is something about stalking this close to these magnificent animals. Now I know the wind was in our favour this time, it was kind of swirling around, so it has been changing against us during our time here. But this worked absolutely perfectly. So. Thanks so much to my Ruger. This thing, like I say, it groups on my thumbnail and it knocks over pigs. What more do you want? Thank you, Wow, another beautiful pig. Now it's amazing, this fella's not as big as some of the ones I've shot, but in comparison, his tusks are huge. As you can see, these incisors they rub against the, uh, the bottom inside, the rubs against the top inside, and make them absolutely razor sharp. This thing here will cause a dog some damage if you wound it and send it in to find it. But it's actually quite a pretty looking pig. Now, like I say, not the biggest one I've shot, but a very handsome animal nonetheless. And as you can see, there is no exit wound here. The boar and I are given the traditional works. It's something I really enjoy when hunting in mainland Europe. Yeah. So, Thomas, Tell us a little bit more um, about the, the tradition of the leaf here, because Hungary's got a lot of strong hunting traditions, yes. uh, and, and this one seems quite poignant. It's like, 
you know when the when the people are die and the, on the funeral we give some flowers to the grave so it's it's kind of this tradition so we we have honor for the for the game so it's honor it's like a mark of respect exactly. and, a, and a parting gift exactly for the exactly. for the bounty of meat that we're about to receive exactly because the game gave the life for our passion and for our food that's one of the things i love about hunting in europe there is that age-old exactly. tradition exactly. thousands of years of celebration yes it's not just sport it's a harvest exactly and then we're showing respect for that kind of makes me feel all emotional i haven't been the only one hunting in this huge forest today and all the boar make a great display in readiness for the ceremony so this is what i love most about hunting here in hungary to these guys this isn't just sport this is a way of life and this celebration of the game shows that the amount of respect they have for it. Not only should you use the right equipment, you've got to make good shots and get as close as possible, but as uh, Thomas said before, there is a hint of sadness. Not only are they celebrating the fact there's been a harvest, but they're also sat slightly sad they've had to take a life. And this is the respect they have for their quarry. I'm really pleased with the boar I shot today. His impressive tusks will soon take pride of place on a war back home. To create your Hungarian hunting adventure, visit wonderheart.co.uk. Be sure to subscribe to Team Wild TV for the best hunting, gear and airgun videos on YouTube.